Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music and the Administrator of Doodly and Toonly PNGs. Welcome to uh, a new tutorial on Create Studio. I'm going to start off with uh, a new project and I'm going to call it Backgrounds. And I'm going to show you something that some people are having problems with and how to try and resolve it I'll show you a good way anyway um, first of all let's get to the backgrounds right, I'm going to get two backgrounds on and I'm going to go to the 3D backgrounds and I'm going to go all the way down to the school classroom because that's the one that a lot of people are having trouble with if I can find it let me just find it I have gone past it, I can't see very well. Now I'm getting old. There's a school classroom there. Right, that's the one that a lot of people are having trouble with. And I'll tell you for why. Um, if I get a character up, let's get the footballer up. I know he ain't supposed to be in a classroom, but there you go. Um, just to show you, if you can have a look, he goes all the way across there, he's in front of everything, right? Now the reason that is, is because the school classroom is one picture and there's no extra elements on there, this is all one picture. The only extra element is the football itself, right? Now the, re the way I know that is because there's no triangles on the top corner there and the bottom corner here, right? I'll show you where there is separate elements and to do that I need to get another background so what I'm going to do is go back to the backgrounds and go back on there go all the way down to the bottom again and I'm going to put on the one that is called the office one if I can get to it right at the bottom somewhere I think there it is yep yeah. and if I put that one on if you look at that one it's got a triangle there look and a triangle at the bottom there look so that one means that it's actually a group right so with that one you would be able to put the footballer in between this table and the background right if you do this you have to ungroup it right and then as you can see right there's the table there's the wood and the American footballer which is there if I slip that between there and then slide it along you'll see him between the background and the table right if I put him back over here back on that one he's still on this one in front of everything right as you can see there but because that one is a group has different elements he can go behind it okay and that's the that's the reason you get the problem with it so if you wanted to make this different on the skull background one different so you can get the character behind something you can borrow the table off the other one and put it there or you could get other tables and do something like that that would be a way of resolving the issue so I hope this was helpful to you and you can uh, have a look through different assets that are there and see if there's any tables and chairs that you can put on and use those assets in the classroom instead of the assets that are here try and cover them up if you can you know so it, it looks reasonable you know what I mean so you can do that and that would be a solution for you or you could make your own if you if you was um, that way artistically talented you could do that but um, that's the only other idea I've got so if you want to try that uh, please uh, let me know that you like this um, actual video and subscribe to Townish Music if you do right thank you very much and I hope you enjoy your day bye bye